Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Radio moving along to race number four over 1200 meters. So this is for the sprinters and let's just give you the stats on the draws. Now when it comes to the stats, draw number six seems to be highly favorable and that is number six Ibuto. And if you go back three runs, we tipped number six Ibuto as our value bet at 12 to one and came smoking through to beat Master Fuego. Unfortunately, the 1200 these days might be a little bit sharp. So when taking into consideration the draw stats, note that Ibuto, had it been a 1400, I would have been a lot more confident. However, over 1200, the quicker they go, this horse has got a tremendous turn of foot and I would not leave number six Ibuto out of the equation. Will be my third selection, number six Ibuto. Now in between number two, Long Sword, and number three, Down by the River. Let's kick off with the current favorite who did run the other day when running a short head second after finding strong support. And his name is Long Sword. Richard Faree for the Sean Terry outfit. And he has a horse who, he's got the form to recommend. He absolutely obliterated the opposition under Richard Faree on the Turfentine inside track over the trip when beating Circus Lights. The average rating was a 68, and the next time he ran in a merit rated 90. They backed him from 10 to 1, down 9 to 2, indicating that they fancied him strongly. He was beaten a short head, that was on the 13th of April. So let's see if he's going to take his place. If he takes his place, it will be his first run on the poly, and he will be the horse they all have to beat. Now the mystery horse for me is number three, Down by the River from the Peter Musket stable. When I say the mystery horse, because he was rated 100 earlier on. He ran third to the grade one horse, Green with Envy. He's run behind Rapidash and a certain Sandringham Summit who looks a top horse in the making and he's already shown his ability on the track. He's a graded performer and winner and on those form lines, he's gonna be a huge runner. From a merit rated 100, I was glad to see the handicappers didn't take a year to drop down by the river. They brought him down to an 80 for his last start. A little bit concerning, they only dropped him one point for that last run. I thought maybe two, three points would be a little bit more lenient on him. One point's a little bit sticky for me, a little bit stiff, but I'm still gonna say number three, down by the river is gonna give you a good run for your money. Another runner trying the poly track for the first time, but there were signs of life last time out. He drops to the 1200 meter trip again, and I think he's gonna be highly effective with Samanga Kamala in the irons. And trading it around seven to one, I think he could be the value proposition. There are a few things against him. Like I mentioned, he's never run on the poly. He's never won over the distance. But I've got a feeling that this horse, he's still got a little bit more improvement to come. So number three, down by the river, and number two, long sword. These are the two horses I believe will be fighting out race number four. And then you throw in number six, Ibuto. Although it's a bit sharp, the quicker they go, the better for him. And then horses like number nine, Diani, and number 11, Mr. Henley, who has the draw to contend with. But for me, number two, Longsword, and number three, down by the river, that could be a nice exactor. And then throw in a horse like number six, Ibuto. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbent helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. 